Greetings and welcome to We Are The Church, a ministry of daily encouragement from the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. very happy Valentine's Day to you friends. It's Monday morning in Southern California and it happens to be Valentine's Day and it's a day of celebration here in California because uh, the Los Angeles Rams won the Super Bowl last night and we're all very excited about that. Uh, it was just a good game and very competitive. Uh, just nice to be on the winning side for a change, isn't it? So a very happy Valentine's Day and a very happy day after the Super Bowl. I hope that uh, you're in good shape wherever you are this day and that God has uh, been blessing your life. Speaking of blessings, a reading from chapter 6 of the Gospel of Luke, verses 20 to 26. Jesus looked up at his disciples and he said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of heaven, and blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are those who weep now, for you will laugh. And blessed are those when people hate you and when they exclude you and when they revile you and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven, for that's what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have already received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry, and woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. It's an interesting uh, little bit of teaching that Luke includes here. Uh, like Matthew, he has the blessings or the beatitudes, the sayings of blessing from Jesus, but he adds to them a whole series of woes. And this sets up a theme of reversal that you see over and over again in the Gospel of Luke. Those who are completely invested in this world and its riches are going to be disappointed one day because everything in this world ends. But those who are invested in the kingdom of God, even if they are suffering right now, or even if they're having a setback right at the moment, they will one day be filled and satisfied. They will know the peace of God and they will be blessed. We are uh, living in a time between times the time between when we have decided to be disciples of Jesus Christ and to follow him and the time of its fulfillment. That sometimes requires us to live sacrificially the way that Jesus did, to suffer for a moment in order that we might be blessed in the fullness of God's presence. Paul would tell the Corinthian church that if the resurrection itself doesn't exist, then we are most to be pitied because we're throwing away our chance at a good life here. But, uh, but because of the resurrection of Jesus, we place our hope ultimately in God. And that doesn't mean that we just sit back and wait for that blessing to come. It means that we live now and we spend the resources and the stewardship that we have now in order to honor God so that God may vindicate the life that we live by having us share in the resurrection of Christ. High-minded ideas. What I think it means for me this morning is as happy as I was to see a team that I rooted for since I was six years old, the Los Angeles Rams, win a Super Bowl. I'm also mindful there are some people in Cincinnati who are saying, gosh, if only, and maybe that ref made a bad call here, and uh, maybe we really deserve to win, and they're having a hard day of it. It's important for us in this world, when blessings come our way, to share that blessing and to pass it around, and it's important for us when we are struggling in this world to know that it's not going to be that way forever. Stay connected to Christ, invest yourself in Christ's kingdom, and in the end, Christ will raise us up. Let's pray. Loving God, we do pray that if we are too deeply enmeshed in this world, that you will call us from those things that, that get in the way of us knowing the fullness of your joy. So, O oh Lord, help us to hold the wealth and the riches and the joy and the happiness of this lifetime lightly in our hands, that we might give it up in a moment at your call, so that we may serve you more perfectly. And so, O oh God, guide us through this and every day, for we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Well, a happy Valentine's Day to you again, friends, and I hope that uh, love is your uh, constant theme for the day. And if uh, it's been a while since someone has told you that they love you, let me say, in Christ, I love you too. So have a great Valentine's Day, and may those in this world to whom love is a stranger find in you generous and warm friends. Until next time, I'm Pastor Bill Johnson reminding you to do no harm, to do all the good you can, and to stay in love with God. I'll see you soon.